What's up guys, Sloppy Wet Below here. Um, I thought I'd do a little overclocking guide with the new GTX Titan, considering that EVGA Precision 4.0 is out, um, came out right with the release of this card. First thing I want to tell you about the Titan. The Titan so far, I've had it now for a few days. I've done a lot of videos with it. It's a fantastic card. Um, the perks of the card is how cool it runs. The vapor chamber on this thing is unbelievable. I have not gotten this card over 70 Celsius. Now, I do use fan curve and all that, and I set my fan up manually to make sure that um, I control the fan speeds uh, on a certain increments, which I'll show you in a minute. But I figured I'd um, show you what I'm doing. Um, I'm not completely slamming this card yet. Yes, I've overclocked it, um, especially when I did the Heaven Benchmark yesterday. Um, I did overclock it and stuff. Some of the some of the again uh, benchmarks I've done a little overclocking. It's got a ton of headroom. You can search the internet for what you want to do. But I want to show you how I'm doing it and how it works. Now the new thing with the Precision 4.00, if you see right here, where it says Temp Target, this is a pretty cool thing. If you guys don't want to get too in depth about what you got to do, first thing Precision X 4.00 is quite simple program. I think it's one. I love it. I think it's a fantastic program. I think they even made it a little better for uh, for beginners on overclocking this card. Um, so really what this does is length means that they're both together. So if I slide this, this is going to come with it, okay? See how that's going on? Now the first thing is you're going to notice that with the GTX Titan that you can only go power target 106. Um, that I'm going to assume is definitely because of the uh, wattage threshold that this card can only do. I think it's 250 watts. Um, technically basic, but I think the peak amount of watch you could pull from this card is 265, if I'm correct. I might be wrong, but I think it's 265, so there's not as much headroom on the power target, if you know, with the GTX 680, um, or any of those cards with the Precision X, the older one, you could slam it to, I think, 120 or 125 percent on the power target. There was never temp target that's brand new. But anyway, I've been unlinking it. I don't like the, uh, them together. First thing is, when you're going to overclock the Titan, always put the power target to 106. Okay? It's just jam it to 106. Now, the temp target, what that's going to do for you is if, if you do want to link it, which is okay for you guys, you just click the link, slide this back. What this temperature target does is it's going to tell the card with the software to increase your voltage, to set everything, all your parameters, to hit the temperature targets. What that means is... When your card, it's going to push your card up to the temperature. So if it hits 80, at that point, it'll throttle down. It won't go past 80. It shouldn't go past 80. It should actually control everything. So it's really a one-step guide to overclocking, which is kind of cool. Um, so that's all you have to do. You really just got to slide the temp target to 80, or whatever you want it to be. I wouldn't go too super high, but, I mean, you obviously, obviously could see you could really go pretty far up. You can go up to 95, which is just, to me, is psychotic. All right, I've been leaving it at 80 Celsius. I haven't gotten over 70 Celsius yet, maybe 71 once. So what I'm doing, let me just show you what I'm doing. You guys take it for a grain of salt. Okay, look, just to show you, this is default clock. Okay, this is what it's going to look like at default. Length, 100%. 80% temp, uh, uh, temperature target. And here's your GPU is 0 megahertz over, and that... Here's your voltage and tweaks. I'll show you in a second. Oh, it's still there. I'm going to reset it. Apply. All right, so what, just let me show you what I've been doing. So what I've been doing is unlinking it, leaving it at 80. That's fine. Go up to 106. Okay, hit apply. No big deal. What I've been doing is right now is going up to... It's some, Somehow when you slide the bar, it loves to stay around 103. So that's what I've been doing. I've been putting the GPU clock 103 megahertz over, and I've been putting... Um, right there on the memory, about 100 over, 98 over, and I had to apply. Now, the voltage and tweaks, the good thing with this card is, yeah, you could you could volt it up, as you see it's right here. Hold on, I can't show you it. Yeah, there you go, sorry guys. All right, if you see, let me do this over, because it's nuts. See voltage and tweaks right here? Click it. Oh, it's popping up out of my screen, but this is what it looks like. So it's at zero, so it's at the manufacturer's default voltage. You could see as you slide this, plus 13, plus 25, plus 38 is the max. Now, you can do whatever you want. I've been leaving it at plus 13. Hit apply. Okay, K-Boost is another one that I'm not going to even get into. You don't need it. I, I mean, you could use it if you want, but 
just use all the voltage. That's really getting for extreme overclocking, which you could do enough with just the over voltage, okay? So as you see here, so I just did that, it clocked up. All right, I'm not even using it yet. Obviously, it's got um, it's got a threshold where it'll throttle down when you're not using it to anything. So that's a pretty cool point. All right, so here we are. We got 106 power target. I'm leaving it at 80 because it's even hard to get it past 70. Clock is at 103. Now listen, you do have tremendous more headroom. You, if you go on the internet, you'll see guys 200 megahertz over, and the memory 200 megahertz over a little bit more. That is really pushing the card, and that's fine. You could do it. All you, I mean, do it at your own risk. Every card is different. You're not going to get the same overclocking out of every card. You should have a general idea, but there has been some amazing overclocks in this card. But you know what? For me, once I get it 100 megahertz past stock, it's it's a sweet spot. This is where I've been liking it. I will I go faster? Yeah, probably in the future. But it's running everything really nice at these clocks. So that's what I've been doing. About 103. You can go more, go less. Memory overclock is at 98, as you say. All right. This is the fun part which I've showed you in the past. Here's the Celsius. you got 46 Celsius. That's what the card's running at right now. And your fan speed's at 45%. Now, let me show you the things called fan curve. All right, let me come down a little so you guys can see this. Now, what this does is there's monitoring on the card. This is milliseconds. It's the amount of time, the duration that the clock is, the card's going to monitor itself. So, um... It's a long time. If you put it up, you can you could have it for uh, for not hours, but for a very long period of time, and I mean a long period that you can be gaming, stop for forty five minutes. You'll still can go back and see what your temperatures and stuff was. So